greetings here we have a question uh, from percentages topic and this is uh, this question comes under stage 2 category or intermediate level question so we solve few uh, stage 1 category or basic level questions now our now our turn is to solve this uh, intermediate level question and this question looks lengthy but it's very simple to solve just don't worry about you know uh, the length of the question it doesn't matter end of the day aptitude questions will be always simple to solve this is for sure okay see in an examination every question correctly answered fetches two marks and for every question wrongly answered one mark is deducted now two candidates mayank and vishnu took the examination mayank attempted a certain number of questions and 20 percentage of those questions went wrong vishnu attempted a certain number of questions and 10 percentage of the questions attempted by vishnu went wrong mayank got 33 marks more than the pass mark and vishnu got 48 marks more than the pass mark now in this scenario Mayank and Vishnu together attempted 100 questions. Okay. Now, now question number one for this data given is like this. What is the pass mark of the examination? So given four options. And question number two, the total marks scored by Mayank and Vishnu is how much more or less than the maximum marks of the examination? And you have four options. Option is yes, zero, eight more, 12 less and cannot be determined okay so let's knuckle down to this question let's go let's go over this question it is simple see <clears throat> don't worry about the length of the question again it's very simple to solve uh, we can check it out we can check it out see in an examination every question correctly answered fetches two marks so let's take let's collect uh, given data is this so uh, let us identify let us identify some information from the given data okay so you see now so each question okay see uh, every question correctly answered fetches two marks so so for correct for correct you will get two marks and for every wrong every wrong answer for every wrong answer one one mark will be out of race okay and two candidates two candidates two marks okay we will write full two marks and two candidates mayank and vishnu okay mayank and vishnu took the examination now you see mayank attempted a certain number of questions and 20 percentage of them went wrong okay let us assume like this let us assume this way okay number of questions number of questions i'll write here with another color okay so give me give me three seconds one two three okay. i'm back so I'll write here like this number of questions number of questions attempted number of questions attempted number of questions attempted by Mayank say x and and number of questions attempted by Vishnu is say y okay now from this from this what can we do see from this what can we do is this now out of x number of questions attempted by mayank 80 percentage of them they were correct and 20 percentage of those questions went wrong so so 80 percentage means 80 percentage of x is 0.8x now this is what here 20 percentage means 0.2x so 80 percentage of questions they were correct and 20 percentage of them went wrong unfortunately they were wrong all right and he is happy now because somehow 80 percentage of uh, his questions they were correct now similarly 
Vishnu, Vishnu attempted certain number of questions. See, in this case, he did not give uh, the exact number of questions. He just, he just gave like this. See, certain number of questions. Mayank also attempted certain number of questions. Certain number, not the actual number is mentioned there. Okay. Anyways, Vishnu attempted certain number of questions. Out of that, 90 percentage of questions they were correct. That means. 0.9y 90 percentage of y is 0.9y they are correct and unfortunately 10 percentage 10 percentage of those questions went wrong okay so they went wrong this fellow is again unhappy because 10 percentage of questions went wrong but he is somewhat happy when compared to this when compared to Mayang because 90 percentage of questions uh, they were correct all right <clears throat> okay so now now what you do now he is again he gave uh, some data like this right see now mayan got mayan got 33 marks more than the pass mark okay so first of all we have to assume something as pass mark now vishnu got vishnu got 48 marks Vishnu got 48 marks more than the pass mark. Now, anyways, Mayank and Vishnu together attempted 100 questions. Okay. Now he is asking what is the pass mark? Let the pass mark. What is there? We have this uh, flexibility of assuming, right? So let us assume so. Let me take my uh, sketch. Okay. So let the pass mark. So we will assume like this. Let the pass mark be so let uh, the pass mark be say some block p or capital p okay now what is given to us so given this stuff uh, given see uh, given uh, given like this okay what is that mayan got 33 marks more than the pass mark right so 33 marks more than the pass mark means so Mayank, Mayank is already passed. So Mayank attempted 80 percentage of questions. Okay. So Mayank attempted 80 percentage of questions. So the I mean Mayank got 80 percentage of questions correct, right? So each correct each correct answer will be awarded two marks. And unfortunately, he lost 20 percentage of answers so therefore so minus 0.2x multiplied so for every wrong answer one mark will be deducted so multiplied by one okay and this difference is more than pass mark it is 33 marks more than pass mark that is given here right so mayan got 33 marks more than the pass mark so therefore this is what we have and we assume pass mark as p and also Vishnu and also uh, Vishnu uh, Vishnu means y Vishnu attempted y number of questions and again out of y number of questions 90 percentage is correct so for every correct answer you have to award two marks and unfortunately Vishnu uh, did not uh, make uh, 10 percentage of questions properly so they were wrong so for every wrong answer you have to deduct one mark so therefore this uh, this left this left hand side quantity so Vishnu uh, Vishnu secured how many marks here so Vishnu got 48 48 marks more than the pass mark okay so Vishnu got 48 marks more than the pass mark if pass mark is p so vishnu got 48 marks more than the pass mark that's it now if you solve for this uh, for these two equations uh, we will get something interesting you see so 0.8x multiplied by 2 this is 1.6 and this is 0 0.4 sorry 0 0.2 so if you subtract so if you subtract this now what we get 1.6 minus 0 0.2 is 1.4x okay so 1.4x equal to 
we have p this p plus 33 and this one this is what 1.85 minus 0 0.1 so you get 1.7 y so 1.7 y is p plus 48 okay so let's designate these two equations as say 1 and 2 respectively so let me take another base just give me two seconds another base is this so uh, let us revisit equation number one and two again so equation number one is this 1.4x 1.4x is p plus 33 and 1.7y 1.7y is p plus 48 marks more right so Vishnu got 48 marks more than the pass mark and that is 1.7y is equal to p plus 48 Okay, we have revisited our equations again. Now, what do you do? So, let us subtract 1 from 2. If I subtract 1 from 2, so we get uh, 1.7y minus 1.4x equal to pp will be ruled out. Now, 48 minus 33 is equal to 15. Okay, now let us say this is number 3. And now, see we have here Mayank attempted x number of questions and Vishnu attempted y number of questions and, and from the given data or from the available data, Mayank and Vishnu together attempted 100 questions. Okay, so together attempted 100 questions means what? So Mayank and Vishnu attempted, together attempted. So Mayank attempted x number of questions, Vishnu attempted y number of questions, so x plus y is equal to 100. Okay, so this is from the available data we have this. Okay, now let me let me take red sketch. So <clears throat> now we can solve it, right? You can solve it. So see, okay, the, this one, this one, you have uh, linear you have a system with linear equations 2 in number so 1.7y is positive 15 and x plus uh, y is positive 100 okay now we need to find this x and y you can use any method to find you can use Kramer's rule or Gauss elimination or simple technique whatever so let's multiply this second equation by uh, 1.4 on both sides so let us multiply this second equation by say 1.4 and 1.4 here as well okay so we will do this now now what do you have okay now you have this one let us rewrite this again so 1.4x minus 1.4x plus 1.7y is positive 15 first equation second equation is 1.4x plus 1.4y is equal to what we get now yes we get 140 okay now we can take some of these two equations so these two will be ruled out now so 1.7 plus 1.4 is 3.1y so 3.1y is what now 155 now y equal to 155 divided by 3.1 so we get now y is equal to 50 sharp yeah so we get y equal to 50 now what is x now you plug in this y equal to 50 here if you plug in y equal to 50 now x equal to x plus 50 equal to 100 so x equal to 50 okay so x equal to 50 so let me take my black sketch again so x equal to 50 now he is asking now what is question number one question number one is what is the pass mark of the examination right so question number one is this now what is the pass mark here of the examination you can choose either equation number one or two okay 
because we have uh, values for y and x here so either you can choose equation number one or two let me choose equation number one okay so let me plug in 1.4 and here i'll plug in the value for x x equal to 50 so 1.4 multiplied by 50 equal to p plus 33 okay so 1.4 multiplied by 50 equal to what this is 70 right so this is 70 70 equal to p plus 33 so now what is pass mark p is equal to 70 minus 33 that means 37 so pass mark equal to 37 so if if uh, they secure 37 marks they will be declared as pass right so out of four options available so out of four options available option c is correct 37 marks is correct right we can choose either request number one or two you can plug in y equal to 50 here so 1.7 multiplied by 50 equal to p plus 48 again we will get p equal to 37 okay so question number one is is over and out now what about question number two what about question number two any guesses question number two is this the total marks scored by mayank and vishnu the total marks scored by mayank and vishnu is how much more or less than the maximum marks of the examination so you can take some five seconds you can pause this video and you can get the required answer so what could be the correct answer for this the total marks scored by mayank and vishnu is how much more or less than the maximum marks of the examination any guesses the correct answer is yes sometimes whenever we encounter whenever we encounter none or cannot be determined or invalid sometimes if you don't know answer we will try to attempt that but in this case that guessing will work out because option d is correct for this why see he gave a certain number of questions he gave a certain number of questions right a certain number of questions but nowhere he mentioned exact number of questions in an examination nowhere he mentioned the total number of questions so therefore what we could what we can do is like this we can do this way as the total number of questions as the total the total number of questions in the examination as the total number of questions in the examination yeah they are not known right so the total number of questions in the examination are not known so they are not known therefore therefore the option is d yeah cannot be determined so we can't determine this the total marks scored by mayank and vishnu can't be determined if exact number of questions are known see don't confuse with this mayank and vishnu together together attempted 100 questions of course we know this we know this mark okay we know this figure 100 questions whatever figure but out of how many they attempted 100 out of 150 or out of 200 or out of 105 or 110 that number we don't know okay the total number of questions attempted by these two fellows were known but we really don't know the exact number of questions asked in the examination so therefore the answer for that is cannot be determined okay and that's it that's it for today so this question looks lengthy but it is simple right so let me put things together so you can take a snap of it if you want okay this is first page now now what we have done we took second page we started here all over we started here answering question okay now you can take a snap again and followed by followed by this okay page number three 
and lastly what lastly for question number two lastly for this question number two you have uh, you have this answer okay so as the total number of questions in the examination are not known so the answer to this question is d we can't find anything out of this question number two okay that's it for today so please do subscribe uh, we have many more uh, questions and concepts to come so <clears throat> as i told you uh, before uh, we will solve our questions uh, based on three stages now the moment you are able to solve advanced level questions you know now that means you can solve any questions any given question in the world okay thank you